Got my glass of water over there. Ooh woo! We shall continue the adventure right now. All right. So what was the last thing I did? It was this. All right. Here we go. So for those of you who don't know, I'm going after the one and only Yuri. So uh, we gotta write something pervy. Desire. All right. Here we go. Uh, defeat is probably Sayori. Memories. I guess that's Sayori. I fucked up. Tenacious. Mm, big words. Contamination? Okay, good. Imagination? Oh, yes. Yeah. Lipstick? Yeah, okay. Uh, melancholy, of course. Uh, heaven sent. You, got, you gotta look for the big words, alright? Gotta look for the big words, okay? Gotta look for the big words. Hey, what's up, Donnie Duckman? Uh, depression is Sayori, of course. Forgot. Yeah, I don't really care about, uh... I forgot her name. Natsuki. Uh, I'm all about Sayori and Yuri. Now. Uh, embrace. Oh, fuck! Alright! Extraordinary. Okay, uh, leaning too much on that. Uh, incongruent. There we go. Philosophy. There we go. Uh, vivacious, of course. Big word. Uh, eternity. Uh-huh. There, 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 there you go. Uh, let's see, uh, promise. Okay, that's fine. Sayori and Yuri. Uh, I'm all about it. Uh, after image. Uh, shout out to Dragon Ball. Uh, massacre. My eyes! j Dog with the 32 months! Gosh darn diddly damn! Thank you very much. Thanks for, uh, joining the Kegakins and staying. So I either want to click on massacre or marriage. Who'd be interested? Let's go marriage. Okay, Sayori. Uh, ambient, of course. And our last one, uh, lollipop portrait. There we go. Cool. All right. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Cock block Monica. Hey, how's it going, Quake Pro? Quake Pro, I saw you were the first one here. Hey, what's up, Red Baba? Hold on, I gotta take a drink of my water. When in doubt. Pinkies out! Ah, uh, God, I want to do it the douchey, douchey way where you slurp through your water, you know the... I want to do it like that, but I almost choked. There we go. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Let me save just in case I get fucked over. We're way past this shit, Monica. Don't, don't worry, I just walked in too. For those of you who've forgotten, our name is Uwu Kagu. Oh, are you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Start starting this club and now picking a piano. Well, maybe not determination. Sh get that fucking Undertale shit out of here. All right, get that shit out of here. But I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Ah, oh, I can't wait for the festival! That's right! We're gonna pour on some raps! Yo, 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 is that bitch Natsuki on the mic? We're gonna suck that dick? <laughs> I don't know what that was! But it felt right. <clears throat> How's it going, Jacob? <laughs> Oh boy! I don't know what that was, but it was something. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it's gonna be great! <laughs> uh, weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? I'm just looking at the chat. <laughs> oh boy. Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do you... Do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? That's fucking racist! It, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name, Monica. Oh, eh, eh. Sorry. 
That's not how you say my name at all! Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Okay, way to break the fourth wall. Uh, uh, never mind! Oh, Monica. I've noticed you like to break the fourth wall recently. What's that about? Ooh, ooh. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori's sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Uh, you're spacing out again. Uh, 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 sorry! Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course! Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sarah always shows, a big, shows me a big smile. She's really depressed inside, isn't she? Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed. With everyone back at their usual ac activities, maybe I should ask Monica if, she've, if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Ubu Kagu, what's up? What's up, Shoto? How you doing? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what do you? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Sorry, I was just moving my phone because it was fucking right under my arm, and I'm just like, oh god, get this fucking thing off of me. Hey, what's up, Kawaii Daisy? Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Uwu Kagu. Uwu Kagu. I fucking hate Monica. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so well, I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, uh, sorry, I was holding in a burp, but it just had to come out. Uh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Uwu Kagu. Me? How on earth would you come up to that conclusion? Well, we all want to fuck you. It's that simple. We all just want to take off your pants and blow you! I mean, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know. She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is, is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always it's uh, than it always has been. <laughs> Fucking idiot. You're such a dude. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway, am I right? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. They watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit, sit myself down. 
and Nasayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh down on me so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. But she lets away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. Because <laughs> she's waiting for me. Mm. She's waiting for me. Mm. Oh, well. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation of, uh, on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit, uh, sit in one next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Well, I actually didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? Psh, bitch! I don't have thoughts! Hmm. I don't know. How were you even able to tell what I was uh, that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything, Baraka. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today. But when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something's happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. What? <laughs> Yuri, it's not what you think. I love you. My heart belongs to you! Well, I hate him, but you! Sorry, I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah. I see. We're still in the game. It's alright. It's alright. It's all... It's... <laughs> Sorry. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading a, into it a little too much. Uwu Kagu. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Uh, so you think that there might be something behind it after all? Hmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed your strange behavior today, too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? I... Yes? Fuck, guys, she's finding us out. She knows that we're playing. <laughs> Fuck, she knows that we're. Y y y you know, writing the poems for two people. But you don't need to put it in that way. We're just good friends, that's all! That's all. Yuri know, suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. Th that is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, I feel that way about you, you dumb fucking bitch! You're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. All right? All right. I'm not nearly as... <laughs> Sophisticated you! Uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Okay!